بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ ہاؤ آئی یو آئی ہوپ یو آر انجوائنگ دی بیسٹ آف ہیلتھ آئی ویلکم یو ان مائی کلاس دیٹ از انگلش فار گریٹ تھری وی آر لرننگ یونٹ سکس اٹس ٹائٹل از اسٹوری آف اے ویٹ پلانٹ مائی ڈیئر فیلو ٹیچرس دس لیسن پلان پاور پوائنٹ پریزنٹیشن اینڈ ورک شیٹ لنکس آر گیون یو میک لک اٹ ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ فالو اٹ ایز اٹ از or modified for your convenience, I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today we are going to learn about environmental education. This is our topic. And uh, before this, in English for grade 2, we have already learned about environment. I hope you remember in this unit, we have discussed a lot. If not, you may watch this video lecture again and we are going to learn further and we'll cover the SLO to make a list of items, for example, vocabulary required for a given task. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Araf, verse 56, and cause not corruption upon the earth after its reformation. Yes, my dear children. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, do not do corruption. And what does corruption mean? Better whenever we mix something and it makes it impure, it is corruption. Like something which is given to us and we add something which is not good for that thing. Right? This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying when earth has reformed, Allah has created this earth so beautiful and everything around us which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created has a balance. So when we do something wrong, it disturbs the balance and it causes the corruption on the earth. Okay, Even if you throw just a small wrapper anywhere, it causes corruption. Where should we put it? Where should we throw it? In dustbin, right? So we are going to learn many things about our natural environment today. First, you tell me, what do you know about natural environment? Pause the video, answer this question to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you have mentioned and you remember that the term natural environment refers to the non-human made surrounding, means everything which is in our surrounding but it is not made by human and conditions in which all living and non-living things exist on earth. In short, everything which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created for us, it's, it can be living, it can be non-living but who created it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created on this earth that is natural environment right and better this natural environment Allah has created with a balance everything has a purpose and if we like anything we replace or remove from the system it causes a damage okay so it's animal birds water mountain trees everything has a purpose all right so that's why we should save our natural environment the way this earth is saying save me so we are going to learn how we can save earth through, through a project all right what we are going to do you'll make a poster think of things you can do to save our earth and we have discussed many things while reading this unit and in the introduction lesson do you remember the things so recall what we can do and you have to draw the pictures whatever we can do to save our earth and then you will share your work with your class and convey your ideas to others about how we can save our earth. So, I brought few samples for you. You can see how we can make this poster. It can be like this. It is one of the idea. The other one is here. Another, another. Different students have prepared this, okay, of your age. So, I brought it for you. This is how you can also make your poster. So, we are going to make our poster through an activity. All of you will make your poster according to the instructions and better whenever we are going to do something, especially practically before starting our work, we should arrange all the stuff we need. 
because you are doing and you are running around that's not good so to make this poster what do we need let's make a list first then we will start making the poster okay so what we maybe needed maybe a white paper or colored paper whatever you like or whatever you want to use so make a list color pencils color markers carry on colors pencil to sketch or draw eraser sharpener scale a pair of scissors if you want to paste something you want to cut it and glue okay maybe these are the things we need to make this poster first make the arrangements then settle down nicely make this poster pause the video make a beautiful poster every one of you will do your individual work pause the video make your poster and then come back Yes, my dear students, I hope you made beautiful posters with wonderful ideas. So, well done to all of you. All right. Now, I'm giving you a homework. What will you do? You will make a list of things you need to make an omelet. And then you will make omelet under the supervision of your mother. This is your today's task. Okay. So, first you will make a list and then you will make omelet. And uh, I'm giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you will do, you will take the words from this word bank and you will complete the sentences. You will find yes or no for these sentences and these are all the ideas to save our earth. All right. So, what we have learnt today, we learnt about natural environment and the ways to protect it and we learnt to make a list of items required to complete a given task. So, in this way, we achieved our SLO to make a list of items, for example, vocabulary required for a given task. Are we done with it? Yes. So, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I will come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time. Keep learning, keep practicing and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.